In this video animation, we will be able to see constructive and destructive interference. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen that we have two waves, wave 1 and wave 2. Each of these waves has the same amplitude of 50. Units here are irrelevant. And the picture above here shows us what the two waves look like when they're added together. And so let's see what happens when we change the relationship between these waves. If I move the waves so that they are in phase, the amplitude of the wave, the resultant wave, increases. So now they are, the amplitude is very large. If I come down and I start to move them so that they are out of phase, we can watch the top of the uh, graph and we can see that the resultant of these two waves when they're added together starts to change and so it gets smaller and smaller and smaller eventually when they are exactly out of phase with one another the resultant is that we get destructive interference and we have a resultant wave of zero so when they are out of phase by 180 degrees you get a resultant of destructive interference with zero amplitude and if we move it back up to where they're in phase, the resultant is that we get constructive interference and we get the maximum amplitude.